My name's Christian, 23 years old. I don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing right now. Like, this is relatively new to me, like, approaching girls. Yes, boys, in this video, I'm gonna give all of you young guys out there the best practical advice for getting started with cold approach right now and actually getting yourself results. So the first thing that you want to do to actually get results from cold approach as a young guy is to target the right niche. Understand if you're watching this video and you're a young guy in your early to mid 20s, then your value as a man right now just isn't as high as it's going to be when you're in your 30s. So does this mean that you should forget about women until you turn 30? No. All it means is you have to play the game realistically. You want to target a niche where you can most leverage your current value and get the best return on investment. So I can hear you being like, yeah, all right, Christian, so what is this niche? The students. Best thing to do, in my opinion, if you're a young guy in your 20s and you're serious about getting results from cold approach right now, is to approach girls who are at university. That's what I did when I first started day game at 23 years old in the beautiful city of Leeds. Oh, I am on my way to meet my boyfriend. Oh, you're a boy, but listen, listen, I'm not actually trying to, I'm not actually trying to be a boyfriend. I'm actually gonna, like, we can be like sponsors of lovers. I'll take you to Barbados, some like, get some like polar bears and pets and shit. I mean, that sounds pretty interesting, pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, exactly. You will listen, how serious is it, by the way? It's pretty serious. Yeah, pretty serious? Yeah. You've got suspicion in your eyes, I'm not sure. No, I just uh, took me off guard. Really. Well, that's a nice feeling, right? Well, listen, hopefully this has made you feel cool about life. You're a very attractive girl, and I hope you're... You're a very attractive man, oh. and if I wasn't in a relationship, it would have gone a lot different now. Well, you know what? Maybe in another life, we would have been... Uh, What's your name, sorry? Uh, what do you think I'm called? Out of curiosity. Dinner. Go on, guess. I'll give you a kinder egg if you get it right. Um, I don't know. I feel like you're gonna have a really exotic name. Exactly. I don't know. Or a really basic name like Edward. That's your guess. I'll tell you how to guess. Well, you're probably here for a long time. Your boyfriend will be thinking, well, where's my girlfriend gone? I was like, sorry, mate. I've just nicked her. Uh, it, it's, it's Christian. Christian? Yeah, Christian with a K. So uh, I think my mum wanted me to be AG. Oh. Yeah. You've got a, you've got you very strong. Huh? You are pretty AG. Do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. What's the AG thing about me? Is it? Yeah. yeah. I'm like a nonagon. So, so, so many edges. It's ridiculous. I feel like I feel like the nonagon doesn't get enough exposure no, in the shape world. Uh, in what way? As a nonagon. You, you just told me to expose myself more. I feel like I can get in trouble for that. I saw four policemen walking around. If I expose myself, I feel like I'm gonna. What? You can't be doing illegal things. Oh, you can. It's only misbehaving if you get caught. That's true. Yeah, I feel like that's like a hidden rule of the <laughs> secret society. But anyway, what's the plan? Because you're like you're about to go rob a bank. Um. <laughs> I would predominantly meet girls who were at university and I would meet these girls in places which had the highest footfall of students. For example, I'd go around the various university campuses around Leeds. I would go to Hyde Park, which was always swimming with students and like the hill up to Hyde Park in Leeds, like, I don't know if you know it, but I christened this hill Hustle Hill because there was always a, a waterfall of women cascading down this hill. So as I was going up towards Hyde Park, the university campuses there's always girls coming down who i could just speak to yes people um just out in the trenches right now i just had the fucking best sesh um ever <laughs> like period man just the streets are supplying today because like, all the fucking freshers are back so it's just like game fucking on man i've done about i don't even fucking know i've probably done about 20 approaches and got about seven numbers everything is getting practiced just got out of a fucking frosty set absolute frosty sweat Frosty sweat, frosty set man, put hairs on the chest, um, speaking to this girl outside of Tesco and all of a sudden the friend comes over and it was just fucking funny man, but we got through it, we got the clothes, we got the Instagram, so never be phased by things man, just always be fucking closing man, A, B, fucking C, um, and yeah man, sweet, 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 sweet. And when I went into Leeds City Centre, I would predominantly focus my attention on girls who looked like they were at university. And it only took me a few weeks after getting started by prioritising the student niche to getting my first numbers, going on my first dates, hooking up with my first girls, 
all from day game. Another reason why the student niche is an absolute gold mine is they've got time on their hands, yeah? Their energy isn't being taken up by a nine to five job. They're at uni, they're here for a good time, they're here to have fun, they're here to meet guys who can facilitate fun and take them out of what they've been used to back home. Especially the first year, it's like it's August right now, next month, September in the UK is freshers week, so get busy. So really simple, if you're a young guy in your 20s watching this video, then ask yourself, where are you most likely to find students in your city? Go to those places and start having conversations with girls in those places. Sure, you can go around higher end areas and talk to higher end girls who are higher up the social value ladder than yourself. Like you can do this to build your character. You can do it for the practice. But if you're a young guy and you're serious about getting points on the board from Cold Approach right now, then my best advice is to go around areas which have the highest footfall of students and start having conversations with girls who are at university. Really important concept that I want you boys to understand is everything is relative, value is fluid, and you can deliberately manipulate your value and stack the odds in your favor. For example, if I went to a student bar, the person I am now, 25 years old, with the life I'm living, the experiences that I've had, the character that I've built, I'm gonna do well because compared to the other guys in that environment, like my male competition are clueless fucking students to eat pot noodles. But if I went to some swanky VIP event with a celebrity star-studded lineup, not sure why I'd be there. But if I went to this environment, then my value on a relative scale would be nowhere near as high as it would be if I were in the student bar. Because it's all relative, isn't it? Like if you were five foot one, but the rest of the world was four foot four, you'd be considered a fucking giant. For me, every man wants to feel powerful and he wants to feel sexually desired. And in my opinion, the best way to get these needs met as a young guy is to place yourself in environments where you have a higher relative value. And the final thing I'll say about this is mix it up, all right? You don't wanna be that guy who's going around the same university campus the same time every day approaching the same type of girls because Bro, you're gonna get a bad reputation for yourself in the city. You're gonna pollute the playing field. So you wanna pursue variety, like mix up the times, mix up the locations. So like I said, I would go around the university campus, I'd go to Hyde Park, I'd go to the city center different times, different days. I'd also visit these train station, go around the various art galleries and museums. And something else that I did as well, boy, which I recommend you do is, once I felt that I'd started to exhaust the city of Leeds, I just hopped on a train and went to other cities which I knew had a high student population. So Newcastle, Manchester, York. And don't forget as well, boys, there's more to cold approach than just approaching girls on the street. You can go to events or social gatherings which have a high footfall of students. You can go to student bars as well and use this environment to leverage your current relative value as a man. Essentially, just use your common fucking sense. Don't be the guy who's hanging around the student union all day, every day, approaching the same type of girl. I was like, come on. But I honestly believe if you are a young guy watching this video, you're in your 20s, you wanna get points on the board, then do what I did, target the student market and let the results come in. All right, the second thing that I recommend you do if you are a young guy, you're in your 20s, you're new to this, you wanna get some points on the board, the second thing I recommend you do is to find yourself a tribe, okay? So when I first started my day game journey, I was a hardcore solo purist, okay? I was listening to a lot of Tom Torreira at the time, RIP, and he would always bang on about the necessity of solo day game, go out on your own, be the lone wolf. But two years later, after first getting started, I don't think it's healthy, nor do I think it's conducive to be the perpetual lone wolf. I think at the start, it's good. You should be able to do your first handful of cold approaches on your own to show yourself, yeah, you can do it, and to demonstrate to yourself that you're not dependent on anybody else to actually go out there and make things happen. But I do think as men, it's important for us to place ourselves within masculine support networks, to be surrounded by like-minded guys who are there to push you, to guide you, to give you that kick up the ass. Like, I think it's important for your mental health as well to not be just going out there on your own, parading around the pavements like the fucking ancient mariner all day, every day. Like, you wanna have some mates around you, it makes it more fun. But Christian, 
thinking, how do I actually find people to go out there and to day game with? Like, this is a very good question. I've got a few things that you can do. So first of all, literally just Google day game wings and then insert your city and these like old school forums will come up and you can usually find guys' phone numbers on there who are in your city and who you can link up with. Or another thing you can do is when you're out and about doing your cold approaches, like just keep an eye out for other guys in your city who are also doing it, yeah? Like in the UK, cities like London and Manchester have vibrant day game communities and you'll always be able to find people, especially on a weekend, who are on that cold approach wagon. Now just go over to the guy who's doing it and just be like, yo mate, I can see you doing a little bit of day game. Like, do you wanna, do you wanna link up? Do you wanna... <laughs> Do you want to be mates? Like, take him on a little instant date experience there and then. And if you don't want to traipse through internet forums, you don't want to approach guys on the street, then best fucking solution, apply to join my private tribe of cool fucking guys. Like, once we've worked together, you not only have access to me, but you also have access to my private tribe of certified legends. So, if you want to get involved, you know what to do. Drop us an email, ukdaygame at gmail.com. All right, my final piece of advice. If you're a young guy, you're watching this, you're in your 20s, you want to get points on the board, you want to get results from cold approach, then my final juicy piece of advice is to live a hyper social lifestyle, all right? So when we boil it down, yeah, when we boil it down, boys, day game is simply talking to people. It's social skills. So the more you can elevate your social skills, the better your results with cold approach are going to become. So how do you actually do this? How do you skyrocket your social skills right now as a young guy, okay? So what you want to be doing is you want to spend time around more people who you don't know and make a habit habit out of approaching people, complete strangers, and striking up conversations. This is how you become at ease in any social environment, by taking more social risks, by making a habit out of approaching new people, striking up conversations, pushing yourself beyond your social safety zone. And something super practical you can do right now to skyrocket your social skills is to sign up for dance classes. And before you start crying, being like, oh, Christian, I can't dance, I don't want to go to a dance class, I'm going to look stupid, everyone's going to look at me, people are going to make fun of my dance moves. Most of the time, these dance classes aren't even about dancing, yeah? Like, most of them as well have beginner classes, which you can sign up to, where everyone is equally as shit, yeah? They're just essentially an excuse for people to get together. And the reason that I recommend going to dance classes on top of anything else is because you'll always find a high percentage of attractive girls at these dance classes who are open to meeting new people. But they also allow you to practice your social and seduction skills, like you're meeting girls, you're dancing with them, you're holding hands, you're making eye contact. It feels a little bit like speed dating, yeah? Like at the start of the beginner class, you'll get paired up with a girl, you'll spend like 30 seconds with her, dancing, doing your thing, and then you'll swap, you'll get a new partner. There'll just be this constant rotation of girls, so every 30 seconds, you're getting new experiences with new girls. And I really recommend this to guys who are a little bit more on the introverted side, yeah? Just go sign up to beginner dance classes, literally just type like Google beginner salsa or bachata classes in your city and because these dance classes especially the beginner ones they are hyper social environments like it doesn't even feel like cold approach anymore it's actually warm approaching because people are there to meet people so if you're a complete beginner to all this stuff and you just want to be able to strike up conversations with strangers improve your social skills improve your seduction skills sign yourself up for a beginner salsa or bachata class when I lived in Leeds there was an amazing one in Revs de Cuba every Tuesday so literally just Google it. Google it. Just go once. Like if you're sat there and you're like, oh no, it sounds like effort. It sounds difficult. You've got a lot of resistance there. You're scared to go. Just trick your brain. Just say to yourself, I'm just going to go once. I'm going to go once and that's it. And honestly, boys, I think you'll surprise yourselves. And as well as experimenting with the dance classes, something else, something really practical that you can be doing right now is a mantra that I live by, which is always be opening. Okay. Like make a habit every time you leave the house to strike up a conversation with a stranger, like really practical, just set yourself a social challenge. Like every day, commit to having a spontaneous conversation with a stranger. Always be open. Like if you're at the bus station, just ask someone how their day's going. If you're in the supermarket and you're trying to locate the fucking, the mackerel, just go over to the pretty shop assistant and be like, excuse me, where's the tin fish? He takes you to the tin fish. You just have a flirty conversation for 30 seconds about the mackerel, about the sardines, about the fucking pilchers. Like always be opening. Remember boys, 
this. Day game is simply about being social. It's about people. It's about conversation skills. So the more social you can be throughout your day-to-day -day life, the more effortless, the more natural, the more easy your cold approach conversations are going to become. Because in my experience, after coaching a lot of young guys, after spending time in environments which have got a high percentage of younger guys, most younger guys, their social skills are in absolute turmoil. Like the more digitalized that our society becomes, the more entrenched inside the fucking metaverse, like social skills, the, the ability to interact with strangers, it's going to become more and more rare. Like I've said to you boys before, rarity is an unreal commodity within the sexual marketplace. So if you're a young guy right now and you want to separate yourself from the herd, you don't want to be like the other guys who are just still fucking hanging around with the same five guys they went to school with. They never take social risks. They never get off the carousel of comfort and expand their social network. If you don't want to be like that, just start doing things that scare you on a daily basis. Take more social risks. Go to dance classes. Always be open. Always be pushing the boundaries of what you feel comfortable. And honestly, boys, if you commit to this, if you do this on a daily basis, day game is going to become something you are rather than something that you do. And if you want to bypass all the bullshit, you want to make rapid progress in rapid time and save yourself the hassle of trying to teach yourself this stuff from scratch, you know what to do. Drop us an email, ukdaygame at gmail.com and apply to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Stay sexy, boys. You stay sexy, okay?